Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install adjustable crochet faux locks. It's very easy and gentle on your hair. The hair that I'm using is the Jenna Collection 2X Mambo Rocking Locks. It has a very natural texture, so let's get started. The hook goes through the cornrow like normal, and then I'm pulling my hair through, and instead of looping the hair or tying it any way i'm just tugging one piece of the strand through and making sure it just sits like that that will help me adjust the hair and that will also make it gentler on my hair because there will be less tension and i know it sounds crazy and it's just like i'm stringing the hair into my cornrows but when you do it this way you don't have that tension you don't have that damage after because crochet braids really do pull and add tension to your hair you will end up with bold spots in your hair and that's why i started doing individuals a long time ago because i could feel the tension in my hair and i could feel the damage and i just wasn't trying to dig in my hair this hair is actually perfect for this because of the texture. It's very natural and it's very rough for lack of a better term. So because it is on the rougher side of the spectrum, it will sit on your cornrow and not go anywhere. I'm gonna go through with the hook, put the hair on the hook, pull through, and then just pull the strand through on one side, leaving half on the other side. This is what the packaging looks like and I'm gonna go in again, put the hair on the hook, pull through and leave one half on the other side of the braid. That is all that I'm doing. This took me about half an hour to do and I was shocked at how fast it was to do this. It also took me maybe 15 minutes or 10 minutes to take out. So this was probably my favorite crochet install ever because of just how little time it took for me to do everything I needed to do to remove the hair and everything was so nice and gentle I could moisturize. Here I am six packs later. I think there were maybe 13 or so in each pack and I'm just showing you how I adjust my hair. This is ideal for a bob because you never really get that perfect length with a bob. So I just tug on the hair on each side to make sure it just sits the way I want it to sit. And here we go. Zooming in, I'll show you guys. Here's one half and that's the other half. And I'm just pulling to just adjust it and make it sit where I want it to sit. There are jewels that go along with the hair. They give you jewels on the packs, but I don't like putting stuff in my hair. I don't like the shimmery stuff, so I leave that out of the equation. Again, I'm going to show you guys me adjusting my hair so that one hair isn't too long because that tends to happen with bobs. You always have some hair somewhere that is just out of place. Instead of cutting, you can always adjust. So that's why this is perfect for me. You're welcome to try anything you want to try, but this is definitely ideal when it comes to tension and just the freedom to adjust your hair as you please. This is the back of my hair, and I decided that I wanted my hair out of my face, so I pulled it out of my face. You can do this with this type of hair because it looks like kinky hair, so it's definitely workable and that is all for this video you guys thank you so much for watching as always i will have all the information in the description box like i usually do and if you have any questions feel free to ask i will talk to you guys in the next video and bye